Yes, uh, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I so look in today's video. I'm gonna show you guys how um, Weezy made Gunna and Future too easy. So look, I'm in FL20 here, and uh, and the beat is real simple. As you can see, it's not many sounds to it. It's like real, real simple. But so first, I'm gonna just uh, show you like the beat played real quick, and then I'm gonna go over like each sound and. And how I, I did it and everything. Uh, so, so let me play the beat first, real quick. I uh, so you can hear, like the the hub in the main melody. I couldn't find like the the real one that we see he used, but. But shit, this one it sounds like real similar to, to the real one. So th this was the most similar one I could find. So listen. As you can hear, it's not like 100% the same, but it's almost there. And the, this one is the is the half from X band. It's called Ten Hapula. Yeah, and it's the same for the chorus. Oh shit. And then... Um, for... Hold on. And then uh, there's this sound in X-Band too. It's called Spark Metal. It's like a, a lead string type of thing. It's weird, like an ele electric lead type of thing. And, and this sound right here, it comes in like, it comes in right here. You feel me? It comes in again over here. Alright, so that's that's it for the for the melody basically. So now it's the drums we we're, we're in here, and let me just play it for you real quick. This is without the eight Here goes the hi hats, and the hi hats is just a normal like 808 mafia type of hi hat. And uh, normal Lex Luger clap. And uh, here is, is from a BWB world clap. And then the snare, like this snare, you can find it at every drum kit, no cap. Yes, sir. so um, here we got the airways. The first airways, because there's two airways. This is like a variation of the spins airway. It's almost the spins, but it's a little different. Yeah. And then the uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. And then that's the the second eight wait is this one. It's like a special eight wait. It's like Pia Born uh, type of distorted eight wait. This is the pattern. So yeah. Uh, and then that's the the wheezy. Uh, vocal chop thing he used it in like every beat no care yeah let me know in the comments if you want these drums like i can i can put them on dropbox or something and just give it to y'all for free and also the flp if you want it but shit like that's basically it for the beat and just for arranging just gotta like the key to arranging is just to put in and take out things it's not to keep adding more it's just like take out some things and add some more things you know what I'm saying so like just listen to this and here it comes in the lead, uh, lead thing and then it comes in again and then that's the weight switcher here now it's another weight switcher And uh, 
basically what you can do for the AOS to not clash with each other. You can go into to this knob right here, the tool thing, and you can see it's cut by two and two, and then go into the to other AOS, and it's cut by two and two two. So um, that means they won't clash with each other because if if it was different, and one was two two and the other one was like three three, then it would not sound good. They would, they would clash with each other. For me, it's not good. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Like, stay tuned for for the next tutorial. You feel me? So. Let's get it.